Hey guys, it's Kurt and John with TrueShot, and today we'll be reviewing the Mossberg 940 Pro Tactical. Okay guys, thanks again for tuning in. Um, so, we would like to thank Fred from Force Options USA for actually providing this shotgun for us today. Um, it is feature packed. John, tell us about some of the features it has. So, let's start off here with the receiver itself. This is the main focal point of this gun. And the first thing you notice is the optic on here. Now, most of the time when you have an optic on a shotgun, you have a picatinny rail on top, you're throwing something on. This gun is actually cut for the Shield Arms RMSC footprint. So it'll take like the 507 from Hollow Sun and a couple other optics that fit in that footprint. That is one of the most innovative things I've seen on a shotgun in a long time. And Kurt, when we were out at the range, how did you, like, I felt that that gun just came up at point, it's like pointing a bead compared to like when you have a, a optic on the top. I think it's interesting too, to your point, um, whenever uh, you put a red dot on a shotgun, I'm sure there's a lot of people right now going, I don't like it. Again, it's a tactical shotgun. Um, and just like having a red dot on a rifle, um, there's definitely advantages there. Um, as soon as we started shooting, you can definitely see um, how fast you can get up on target on your follow-up shots, everything. Well, and for those of you who are like, well, that window's way too small for me. This gun is still drilled and tapped, so you can throw on that 1913 Picatinny rail, so you can put on a standard optic if you want to go with something like a, a EOTech or a mm -hmm. hollow sun with a bigger, a little bit wider window. The next thing on this gun that's very noticeable is the loading port. The loading port has been widened and the elevator has been extended. So getting the rounds into the magazine tube was super easy, super smooth. You didn't have to fight with that loading port. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. It depends on the shotgun. This 940 Pro Tactical is basically built off of the Jerry Michelek version of the 940. So a lot of the uh, features and parts that came from that competition driven shotgun have actually been incorporated into this and so like you're talking about you know ease of loading that kind of thing it doesn't it doesn't pinch your thumb um, like you'll see on a, like a lot of standard loading shotguns um, and it's got a wider port so it does it, it makes it a lot easier and a lot faster now on top of that we're also looking at an extended bolt handle as well as an extended bolt release as well as that bolt release doubles as a quick magazine release and it dumps the rounds out pretty quickly from my understanding. Kurt, um, when racking this and hitting that bolt release, what was the ease of use? I know we, we've messed with some Turkish style shotguns and mm -hmm. things like that where that bolt release is kind of small. How did you feel with this one? So I, as you'll see, it is, it's, it's extended out. So being able to hit that, it's large, it makes it very easy to do. I think the other thing to really note here, which you'll see over a number of other, maybe say import shotguns and that kind of thing, is the action on it's very smooth, it's very clean. There's not any grit, it doesn't catch at all. It's very, very smooth. And to add to that, with that smoothness, they added a lot of corrosion resistant materials. They're toting it as a self-cleaning system where you can run this gun longer. Now, like we said, this was a borrowed gun and this went up to the, this gun was actually at the launch uh, shoot for Mossberg up at gun site. The gun went through 500 rounds up at gun site. We put another 100 rounds through it. Yep. We had no malfunctions. They're toting that this is a 1500 round interval between cleaning on a shotgun. And for a, a gas fed shotgun semi auto, that's amazing. Right. Well, and you, you've run, we've run mm -hmm. some semi auto shotguns. Normally you're at like the 200 round mark, 300 round mark before it starts jamming up and we're having issues. 1,500 rounds, that's, that's got to be the new industry standard. Absolutely, 100% agree. So then we're continuing to move forward on this gun. You've got the Magpul barrel clamp here with the slots for the Picatinny rails to put in any Magpul accessories. So you can put your lights, your other accessories as well. It's got a, a hole in it to put in your sling, swivel, so you can mount a sling to it. That's kind of cool and neat that it comes from the factory with that. 100%. And then, as you move forward even more, 
Now we're looking at the end of the barrel. It's got a fiber optic front sight, so if you really need to get that front bead and you can see it, it really easy to pick up. But unlike most tactical shotguns, this comes with Mossberg's AccuChoke system. Like with any application and, and on shotguns, um, depending on what you're doing and what your use case is, to be able to change your chokes, especially in a, in a tactical shotgun, it really adds another level. Well, yeah, if I want to run slug and, you know, slug and beanbag rounds or whatever else through it, that cylinder bore is what we need. But with a, if I want to run bird, but I want that pattern to be super tight, I exactly. can put a full choke in it. If I want to run buckshot, I can full, put a full choke in it, kind of tighten it up. Now, the really, the last part that we've got that's part of the features is this has got an adjustable length of pull from 12 and a half to 14 and a quarter inches. So you've got a big window to kind of adjust that and it comes with the spacers and things like that. Now the other thing that it's toting is an ambi safety and it is on top of the gun. That being said, that was the only thing we didn't like about it because it was super stiff. It really was and I think it, as we were all running the gun, um, the overall function of it is great and the ergonomics are great. Um, but yeah, that safety is, it's not only kind of stiff which you'll kind of find in maybe you know a new gun it's really hard it, it it was surprisingly hard and that would honestly be something that you know if i were to purchase this gun that'd be the first thing that i think i would see if i couldn't adjust or, or or tweak a little bit maybe go with a smaller size bb or something like that it's it's a there's pros and cons to it the mm -hmm. pro is that the safety won't come off accidentally it won't go on accidentally the con is you're using some force and if you needed a really when your adrenaline is pumping and things like that, that's a lot of force to kind of push that up. And and I think my biggest thing with it is is the fact that you have to come off target to run the safety. It's that hard to, to, to actually engage and disengage. Um, I know a number of times we actually found where we'd, we'd literally take the shotgun and you'd kind of, you know, put it in your hip and it's it, it was that stiff. And if that's the only con of this gun then Mossberg's doing something right, and it's something as simple as taking it apart, putting in a new BB, kind of smooth it's, it out a It's little. a really easy fix. So before we go any further for our specs, guys, so let's throw the specs up on the screen and give you some elevator music to enjoy. So MSRP on the 940 Pro is 1154, um, and we're looking at street price anywhere from about 900 to 1,000 is, is is where it's at right now. So Kurt, this is coming to market under a thousand, around a thousand bucks. It's got some big hitters ahead of it. You got the Breda 1300 series, mm -hmm. and you got the Benelli M4. Those are the gold standards of tactical shotguns, and I think they just beat them. I would agree. I think that. The customer who's looking for a Benelli, I don't know if they're necessarily going to to go with a Mossberg. Now that being said, if you're shopping and guess what, not all of us can afford a Benelli, right? For what you're getting for this price, that this gun's swinging right up there with it. I will totally agree with that. Well, and and the other thing that you're getting with this is you're getting the Pro receiver, the Jam Pro receiver. So you have all the internal stuff. So if they offer the extended barrels, and now you, I've got two shotguns, one then for defense and one for competition, this thing is going to blow those two out of the water. If they sell those, if they make those options available, this shotgun, um, like you said, we're in a whole new world because for that price, the flexibility that you can get. And again, you know, this is a very purpose-driven gun. It is it is very tactical driven gun. What you'll see in other tactical shotguns is their range of use outside of that is is non-existent or very very narrow. If Mossberg gets to the point where it is, you can get extended tubes in in a longer barrel, which they tend to do on a lot of their products. Um, you've got an even more um, I think engaging option here. Oh yeah, you've got 
especially with the optics cut, you've got the, the sky's the limits with this thing. I think, and I'm going to say it, I think this is one of the best products of 2022. Nobody's thought about putting that style optic onto a shotgun receiver. And I think that's going to become the industry standard coming, you know, in the following years. So Mossberg hit a home run with this. I think, you know, it's going to take a little bite out of Beretta, a little bite out of Benelli, and you're going to start seeing this pattern footprint on a lot more shotguns in the future. I 100% agree, and I think that I, Mossberg was, I think, ahead of the curve on this. Um, just like the conversation, you know, not very long ago, you know, why would you put a red dot on a rifle, or on a pistol especially, right? And now they're everywhere. I, I think that, that that trend is going to continue into the shotgun market, um, and for those folks who will be like, oh, you don't need that. Again, it was the same conversation we had before. And now um, I think that uh, once you get wider adoption and people actually use them, that I think you'll really see the benefits of it. To talk ammo-wise, what we ran through it a little bit, we did run some 1,300 FPS loads, birdshot, buckshot, slugs have been run through this, uh, a number of different light loads, heavy loads. This gun will self-regulate the gas, so it will run a multitude of loads. I want to make sure we add that in, because this thing is so versatile and will run almost everything. And I think that's one of, honestly, that's one of its biggest selling points, is the fact that it did. It, it ran everything we threw at it. And, and that's it, really what it is. It's, it's I, like I said, it's the most innovative th gun of 2022, I believe. There's some other things on the market that I think are, are mm -hmm. kind of there, but this is the most innovation in the shotgun platform in years. Agreed. If, if say that. Uh, so, that being said, let's kind of wrap this up. We love this gun. Th we want to thank Fred from Force Options USA again. Guys, if you need some training, go check him out. He does classes all around the country. Great guy. Also check out his articles in uh, Athlon Publications. And we also want to thank our friend Mike over After Action AZ who helped us film the range portion of this. So thank you guys both. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day. Okay.